What I mean by hybrid is there's three types of evaporators out there you'll find on chillers. You have a falling film, you have a flooded, and then you have a hybrid system. So a falling film means that you'll typically have your liquid refrigerant coming from the condenser, come into the top of the evaporator and hit a upper rail assembly that's going to rain refrigerant down over all the tubes inside. Most of the time, a true falling film will have next to no liquid refrigerant, if any at all, uh, it actually is held in the bottom of it. And what that allows you to do is it dramatically reduces the actual charge that, that machine's gonna require. So you just, you need a lot less refrigerant at that point, but you do sacrifice some efficiency. Now, then you have a flooded, which is the, the most common type most people are familiar with, where the liquid refrigerant would be injected in the bottom of the barrel and you're going to maintain a set liquid level uh, inside of that evaporator barrel. And that liquid level needs to be above wherever your tubes are in that system. So once you know where your tube line is, you should be maintaining above those tubes in that evaporator uh, at a proper point. What we've done with a hybrid is we've actually combined the two. So we do have a series of pipes that sit in constant liquid refrigerant in the bottom and we get several inches of it down in here. And, you, and you'll actually be able to see it represented in this sight glass. That is a true line as to how much liquid refrigerant we hold. And then up top here, we have our regular copper tubes where we're raining refrigerant down through a rail system over that. And then the extra refrigerant that doesn't boil off collects in the bottom and keeps our lower tube assembly covered. So we reduce the total amount of charge required. So this machine only needs like a thousand pounds where if it had a standard flooded evaporator, it might require, you know, 1,600 pounds of refrigerant. So we, we dramatically reduce the total charge required, which is, is good in a lot of ways, but we still maintain a lot of efficiency because we have a flooded portion in there that is getting the, the best heat transfer you can possibly get and trying to maintain the load on the chiller.